My name is Jackie Ryan and my spirit name is Little White Bear and I just want to begin by saying it's such an honor to be on this land and we've had such a beautiful week here. Um, I just wanted to say a few words about this pipe. Frank and I have been working with the red people in Turtle Island for the last 12 years and our teacher has been here this week and she had to leave yesterday. Her name is Leading Earth Woman and she's a Mohawk elder of the Haudenosaunee people from Turtle Island. And I want to share the story of when I first met her because these words apply to all of us and it has a lot to do with why we're gathered here today. When I went to her place for the first ceremony, she said to me, I want to make this clear to you from the beginning. We're not here to try to turn you into an Indian and we can't teach you what it means to be white. She said, your ancestors had a really beautiful way of life. They had their ceremonies, their songs, their culture. And we as the red people cannot teach that to you. And you as a white woman cannot pretend to be red. That's not who the creator made you. She said, what we can do as the indigenous peoples of this land is share our ceremonies, our medicines, our songs with you, help to build your spirit and your faith in the creator again. And she said, a time will come. There's a doorway in that spirit world that will open and your ancestors will start to come to you in dreams and vision. And she said, when that time comes, we step back as the red people, as being your teachers, and your ancestors take over because they're the only ones that can teach you and bring you where you need to go. And so with this pipe that Frank is going to smoke, it's an ancestor pipe and it was given through vision when he was ready to earn this pipe. And this pipe, when it is raised, there's a warrior that stands at the western doorway. And we pray that that doorway be open so that our ancestors can come and be here with us today. And that they are the ones that will guide us and lead us and help us as the human family, as all of us, to know what it means Every race has their ancestors. Every race has a beautiful culture and a beautiful way of celebrating who the Creator made them and, and who the Creator is. And so without those ancestors, as human beings, we're trying to figure out the answers on our own. We have a sacred fire that burns at our home and it's been burning for three and a half years day and night we tend that fire and sometimes when I take a log and I put it on the fire there's little bugs that have been living in that log and I don't know that so I, I watch the log as it's on the fire and I see a little ant or a little termite come out and it starts going up and down the log and it starts climbing up and it gets close to the flame it can feel the flame so it crawls back down gets close to the ash, realizes it doesn't want to go there, and it's stuck. It's just going through the same pattern. It's stuck. And I don't like seeing bugs get hurt. I'm <laughs> one of those people. So I can't go and just pick it up because it's too fragile. If I try to pick that ant off the log, I'll kill it. So I put my finger down. I try to get it to crawl on my finger. Often it doesn't. It, it sees my finger and it crawls around it. And I'll do that a couple times, trying to get it to go on my finger. And then I'll pick up a stick, maybe the stick will work better, maybe this piece of cloth, until that ant crawls onto it and I can lift it off of that piece of wood. And so we're very much, as human beings, in this time period, like that ant. We used to have a beautiful way of life, and it's been put on this fire and the state that we're in right now is trying to figure out how to get back to that life we once had. And our ancestors, when I think of our ancestors, I think of those that are, they have the big view, they have the big picture, they know 
what our ancient ways were. They're the ones that can reach down, pick us off the burning log, and take us back to where we need to go. And it's our job to stop running in circles and trying to do it with our heads. It's our job to stop and to humble ourselves and to say, you know what? We don't have the answers because we've been trying for hundreds and thousands of years. We're making the same mistakes. Humble ourselves and ask those ancestors to come and show us the way. So we wanted to begin this day before any of the sharing circles to call in our ancestors and all of you are holding a piece of cedar and we're going to ask you to pray with us and to take that time to stop, to talk to your ancestors and ask them to guide you in your life, not just today, but for the rest of our lives in the work that we need to do and acknowledge that as a simple human being, we don't have the answer. But if we reach up these trees that are in the center, tell us everything we need to know because they're rooted in Mother Earth. And we spoke this week about the importance of feeling the land that you come from. Something in changes inside of you when you feel the land that you come from. I've been reading about Ireland for 35 years and trying to read about our way of life. I've never been here. This is my first time to Ireland and I can tell you that standing on this land and walking in the land where my ancestors walked does something to you. It changes you inside and you have to feel that. You can't read about it. You have to feel it. These trees are rooted in Mother Earth. Their roots go into that soil. They know where they come from, but their branches are reaching up. Their branches are reaching up like our arms because that's where our direction comes from. So we invite all of you to reach with us during this pipe to pray and ask the Creator in your own way, whichever way speaks to your spirit, but invite those spirits and invite your ancestors to come and be with us and to show us what we need to know.